Family, family, family from the church without judgment. Shabbat Shalom. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty for all those who are in Christ Jesus. You guys, what's going on? I'm on location over here at the VA Center. And I'm going to just be doing different edifications. You might catch me in a car. You might catch me in the center. You might catch me over there in the weight room by the basketball court. So I just got a little word and it's regarding love. It's regarding love. I'm going to pray real quick and then we'll get on into it. Give me grace today. I'm in the car for the first time kind of doing an edification. This is called Love Covers a Multitude of Sins. Love covers a multitude of sins. Please bow your head. Father God, we thank you for your grace, your mercy and truth. Lord, on this Sunday morning Sabbath for some, we ask that you would deliver us from the hand of the enemy. Father God, we bless you. We desire you. Forgive us our sins, which are many. Holy Spirit, come upon us fresh and change us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, you guys, I'm here. Prophet Mark. If you never met me before, I'm Prophet Mark, Pastor Mark. I am a pastor from the Lord. I am a prophet, an ordained prophet from God like Jeremiah. He said, uh, before I knew you, I ordained you and called you a prophet. Man didn't ordain me. God did. And he said, I want you to be my seer. I want you to talk about the oracles of the Lord. I'm here at this VA center, North Phoenix, on site for a while. I didn't have to be here. I'm letting you know right now. I, uh, I have a home. I came out so that they could come out. I'm going to say it again. I came out of the desert so they could come out of the desert. They need help. We all need help. These veterans, man, they, they serve the country. They've been homeless. I'm having, they're giving me more love than some of the folks that I know. This is called Love Covers a Multitude of Sins. In Today, the opposite of love is hate. The devil was a worship minister in heaven, but he was prideful. He was arrogant and he did not love his creator anymore. And the Lord knows who loves him and he cast him out of heaven and he's on this earth and he has a devil's toolbox. The devil has a toolbox. You may say, prophet, what do you mean? Well, I'm going to explain. He has a toolbox for those that want to play in his pantry. And in the toolbox, there's pride. There's deceit. There's hate. There's envy, bitterness. There's jealousy. There's division in his toolbox. There's Devicesness in his toolbox and manipulation in his toolbox. We're talking about love today. In the New Testament, in Matthew 24, it talked about in the last days, the love of many will go cold. That denotes there was love once long ago, but then something changed. But we, the remnant, we have the latter day reign. I want to take y'all, the remnant, to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 and 13. I want to help somebody today. Some folks are in relationships where there's loveless relationship. There's some people that are still married and they don't really like their mate and they're stuck 
And I understand you should stay, but I'm telling you that if it's not love in there, you might want to consider looking at what's going on. We're in 1 Corinthians 13, 4. Love suffers long and it is kind. If you want the right relationship, it better look like this. Love is kind. It does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up. Five, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own. It is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Love never fails. You know why? Because God is the master of love. I want to help someone today because we are loveless now. We have family all over the country and you probably won't even get a call. Get on the phone and call someone. If you're going through something, someone should know about it. Feel free to let someone know because they could probably help you. I want to take us to Galatians 5.22. Bear with me. Galatians 5.22, because today I am want to unlock the key to someone's heart because some folks are struggling and they're mad at a relationship, a business relationship, an associate relationship, a marriage relationship, a friendship relationship. It's been estranged because there's no love. And God says, love has lifted me. God says, love will bring you into the rudiments of more love. Galatians 5.22 speaks like this. I want to go to 5.20. 5.18. Galatians 5.18. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident. Either you're in the flesh or in the Spirit, which are adultery, fornication, un un fornication, sleeping with someone and not married, uncleanliness, lewdness, adultery, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousy, outburst, outbursts of wrath or anger, selfish ambition, dissension, heresies, envy, murder, drunkenness, revelries or parties and like of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in the time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But here's the contrast. The fruits of the spirit. I want you to go to Galatians 5, 22 and 23. And if we master this, every relationship will be sweet like honey. You will have flowers in your hand. You don't need them from anybody else because when you're operating in the fruits of the spirit, you don't need nobody around you. They will come to talk to you like Jesus. And it is gentleness, self-control. Yes, 22, but the fruits of the spirit, excuse me, is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control against such. There is no law. That means there's a liberty to continue to do some more. If you want to understand the score today, love someone. If you want to get up out of the bed and get out of depression and get off your medication. Try some love. Try to go and get out of your comfort zone and get up and get ready to do the work. It's time to get a healing out of doing work. I hear people talking about, I want to be healed, but they won't do the work. If you do the work, the work will work you. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not become conceited or prideful. Haven't we been prideful long enough? And the prophet wants to say, where has that gotten us? I was so prideful last year. You couldn't tell me nothing. 
and it got me nowhere and it pushed me back into a corner where God had to expose my pride in all of what I was talking about, the devil's toolbox. I was in the box. Mark Connor was in the box. Prophet was in the box, but I came out of the box by his grace. I came out of the box by his mercy. I came out of the box by the word of God. I came out of the box by the Holy Ghost. I want to take us. It's called love covers a multitude of sins. And I want to close with this. First Peter four, eight. First Peter four, eight. Peter is a prophet of the Lord. He's apostle. And it goes something a little like this. Peter denied Christ three times. Peter cut off a man's ear in a garden of Gethsemane and Jesus said, we don't war by pride, but we war by love. I'm going to say it again. We don't war by pride. We war by love. And then Jesus healed the ear. I want to read first Peter four, eight. And God is calling us to love. God is calling us to forgive. God is calling us to transfer any pride, any bitterness, any envy, any hate. If you've been hateful, that's why the curse is on you. But God told me today to tell you the prophet said the curse will be broken when you repent. Repentance is turning away from what you've been doing. And if you repent, your life will change. I repented July 18th and my life has never been the same. I am by myself speaking the word of the Lord and it is well with my soul. First Peter 4, 8. I'm going to go to 4, 4. First Peter 4, 4. In regard... To these, they think it's strange that you do not run with them. In regard to these, they think the community. This is about a community of people. They think it's strange that you do not run with them. In the same flood of dissipation, speaking evil of you. I'll explain that. They're running around getting drunk and partying. You're doing whatever you're doing, being peaceful. But you're not with them no more. So they want to talk about you and spread gossip. That is witchcraft and manipulation. Five, they will give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this reason, the gospel was preached also to those who are dead, that they might be judged according to the men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. But the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. And above all things, have fervent love for one another, for love will cover a multitude of sins, for love will cover a multitude of sins. Father God, he is speaking today and he's telling me that love, love, love lifted me and love will cover all of your sins. If you want to know how you can get into the Ark of the Covenant, you got to run into the strong tower of the Lord where the righteous are safe and they run and enter in. He prepared a table for you in the presence of your enemies. Yes, Shabbat Shalom. God is speaking today and he's telling the prophet, the pastor to tell you, if you're running the love, get the basket of love and get away from the devil's toolbox because because in that box, in the box, it starts off like honey. But then when you start tasting the honey, after a minute, it will start being rocks in your mouth and it will chisel off your teeth. And then when you swallow it and digest it, guess what happens? It touches your heart. And then, and then you are vexed by Satan. And then you touch others and you transfer that spirit. And it's not of wealth, but is of evil. God is telling me to tell you today on this VA campus that love covers a multitude of sins and love will lift you in the name of Jesus. Father, we just bless you for this word. I'm praying for the saints. I'm praying for sinners and saints. And a righteous man will fall seven times, but he will get up because love has lifted us. We're praying for those that need the Lord. If you need salvation right now, this is all you have to do. Say, Lord, I know I'm a sinner. 
Lord, I repent of my sins. And Lord, I repent of my sins and I want salvation from you. I know you died on the cross and you rose on the third day and I denounce the works of the enemy and I want to be saved. If you got that prayer, you are saved and you're in the remnant and now you are transferred into his wonderful light of the Lord. Shabbat Shalom. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty for all those that will love someone and it will cover your sins because we're all sinners. And if you think you're holy and you haven't repented and asked God to forgive you, I have some news for you because we're all sinners. But he wants us to repent because when you repent and you release that stuff, you have a clear conscience and that conscience is what holds you back in Jesus name. Prophet Mark, I love you. Be blessed. I'm heading to Mesa in a little bit for service. Whoa, it's going down 1030. I'm heading down in a bit. Bless you. I love you. By the grace of God. Bye-bye.